everybody, this is Kevin from StigmaSearch.com. Here we got uh, a real and a counterfeit OtterBox commuter for the iPhone 4 and 4S. The blue one, the, the one on my left side right, right here is the real one. The black one's the fake one. Now there's a couple of key differences on them, so I'm going to try to pull them out. Uh, you can tell in the case, but the packaging I go around too. Now, um, if you're able to tell, there's a couple differences on the packaging. Most of the other boxes are very realistic, so I mean the counterfeit ones. So there's a couple of differences. Uh, on the fake one, this color bar right here, the gray, it's slightly different than the real one, as you can tell right there. As you can see, it's a different color. Not sure if you're able to see on the camera, um, but that, that is one difference. Now, another difference is, uh, uh, which, not on this one, but um, other ones is, you, you may be able to see a difference in the Otter logo. Uh, like I said, counterfeit ones are looking better and better each year, but as you can tell, uh, the counterfeit one is a darker, darker Otter. Uh, you can see more dark lines. See, that's the real one. That's the fake one. So as you can tell, it's it's a little bit darker, the fake one. Uh, the new counterfeit ones these days match the Otter Perfect, so you really can't use that for new ones, but the old ones, you can usually tell. Now, another way to tell uh, is the font at the bottom. Fake ones, the bottom right here. Fake ones always have, not always, but sometimes have bolded font on the right side. Uh, so if you have bolded font on the right side, not the left, but the right side, it is fake. There's no real ones that have bolded font there. So if you see that, bold font's fake. Now, of course, another way to check is to enter the UPC code right there. Um, if it goes to a different product or different model of an otter box, it's fake. As you can tell, the real one, that's the real serial, I mean, uh, UPC, this is fake. So if you just enter that, you could tell real quick that it was fake. But uh, not all counterfeits have, uh, you know, wrong UPCs. A lot of them match. So um, the backs are the same. So now we're going to go inside the case to show you some, uh, some other differences. Just uh, get these out real quick. Now, uh, once again, the blue one's the real one. Now, as you can tell, the back, they're exactly the same. There's no difference. Um, same thing with the sides, top, bottom, and, uh, I mean, side and bottom. Now, there are differences, uh, as you can tell, on the, the right here, just the silicon casing. There's another part of the back case, but for the silicon casing, uh, as you can tell, see, look at how, this is the fake one. See how there's no border around um, all this. There's a border around this right here, but not around this. So this is the real one. Notice there's a solid blue border around the whole entire box. Uh, so as you can see, there's border all around it. And the fake one doesn't have that. So that's one way to check. Now, another way to check is the back. Now, so here's the real one. See, look at, uh, once again, that's the time box. I call that the manufacturing timestamp. Um, so look at that. Uh, everything's aligned equally to the sides almost. Now here's the fake one. Uh, it is not evenly, as you can tell. It's more pushed to the corner. But anyways, another way to check is, see how you can see the otter text reversed from the back? So see how you can see that right through it? The fake ones do not have that ability. As you can see, uh, you cannot see the otter at all. Um, you know, uh, the blue is a, a little bit lighter, but uh, so, you know, it's a little bit easier to see, but the fake ones just can't do that at the moment. So, um, that's one way to check. So, hopefully you're able to see, uh, if you have at least one of these characteristics, it is fake. Um, like I said, the otter boxes, the counterfeit ones are getting better and better each year, so... Uh, it's always harder to tell. So, uh, thanks for this, uh, thanks for watching. Any comments or anything? Uh, you still can't tell. Just leave a comment. Thanks.